Hello friends and welcome back for our last calendar video for the week because today is Friday. I have my butterfly pointer because it is spring and butterflies are starting to show so I like using this one and I have an orange marker because that is a pretty spring color. All right, let's get started. Yesterday we did calendar on Zoom. So today it is April the 24th. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that to our calendar for the day and add the date. And go ahead and change the star to today's day of the week, which is Friday. So let's go ahead and say it. Today is Friday, April 24th, 2020. It is Friday, April 24th, 2020. And let's do our days in school. Yesterday would have been 152. And if I add another straw to my ones place, it will make it 100. Oh no, yesterday would have been 153. So if I add another straw today, it would make it 154 days in school. So I'm gonna change the ones place to a four. All right, and let's do a pattern. Again, I'm gonna go backwards, but I'm gonna do even numbers this time. So let's start with 20. 20, and then I'm gonna do 18, 16. What's gonna come next? Remember, we're doing even numbers. Last video we did odd. So if I have 16, 18, 20, 20 18, 16, what's gonna come next? Not 15. 14. Then after 14, not 13, because remember that's an odd number, 12. And let's go over them again so we can get our last number. We have 20, 18, 16, 14, 12, and then not 11, but 10. Good job. And let's do our time. I'm gonna put my pointer down. Let's do this time. What time does that say? Look at the little hand. It's not quite on the one yet. So it's still 12.45. Good job. So I'm going to write 12 for the hour and 45 for the minutes. And let's do tally marks. Let's go ahead and do seven tally marks. Let's do seven. So remember, in the first group of five, that last line is gonna slash across. So one, two, three, four, five, and then do a slash, and then six, seven. Good job. All right, let's do coins. Let's see how much change I get today. Ooh, I have a quarter, which is 25 cents, and I have two nickels. Ooh, so what's five plus five? Because remember a nickel is five cents. So one nickel, which is five plus five, gives me 10. So I have a quarter over here, 25 plus 10 equals 35. Good job, 35 cents. So I'm gonna write 35 and a C with a line through it. And that show, tells us it is change, that symbol. All right, let's do our coins. Let's go over coins, ready? Our penny is one cent. The nickel equals five cents. The dime equals 10 cents. And our quarter equals 25 cents, good job. And let's go ahead and do our, let's count by tens, ready? Zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Good job, let's do our even numbers. Remember, even numbers are numbers that balance out equally on both sides. Ready, zero, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Let's do odd numbers, numbers that don't balance out equally on both sides. Ready? One, three, five, seven, nine, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, 21. Let's count by fives, which are also nickels. 
they equal nickels. So let's count by five. Zero, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, and 50. I forgot to mention that when we're counting by tens, that is also counting our dimes since they equal 10 cents each. And let's, lastly, let's count by 100s. Ready? Zero, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, and 1,000. Thank you all for joining us for our last video for the week. I miss you all so much. Bye.